In this tutorial, I'll cover using show and hide with jQuery. And let me actually show the final result here. Let's see what I have here. So we do have it hidden. Uh, click on the button and it, and it shows it. Okay, so in order for this to work, um, you have to put all your content between an opening and closing uh, div is often the best way. Of course, you could use span if you want or any of the HTML uh, elements or HTML5 elements. Okay, uh, we'll give it an idea of, of pictures. And um, this content can be as much content as you really want. So you could have tables in here, other links. You could have, for all intents and purposes, another website that you're actually uh, hosting between here and showing and hiding. All right, but we'll keep this uh, pretty simple right now, just text and an image. And this is being triggered with a button. And there's a event handler within here that when I click on that button, then it calls show me. So we come back up here and there's all this other stuff in here that's not as relevant. This is from a previous tutorial, but I left it in there for now. Um, so we, when we click on that button, it triggers show me. And one thing to note about this is that this is a uh, user or programmer created function. And this is actually just um, referencing uh, that pictures and then show within this user created function. So you could um, use it within here if you want. You could actually have the event handler being detected just like we did with the hover in, in one of the previous tutorials. This is actually um, just attaching it using jQuery. We're attaching the hover. You could use a click or whatever else you wanted. But for right now, I just want to keep it kind of clean and straightforward because we're moving into this. And we'll go ahead and use um, the show me trigger from within the button tag. All right, so there's the show. Okay, this is another example where the document.ready, we have the hide within a document.ready. This is redundant, actually, because this could go down in here, okay? I'm just putting it up here to make it so it's obvious and it shows up here. You could have multiple document.readies. I'm sure it does something wrong. I mean, you probably don't want to have too many of them because, it, because as I just said, it would be too redundant and it's not really necessary. Okay, up here, um, I will go ahead and change that and we can add a number in here. So now it's gonna show it over a span of two seconds. And then when I test this now, it should be pretty straightforward. So is it gonna hide it? I think maybe I have to save this out. And hit refresh. There we go. And I click and it comes back in. Perfect. So you see it's pretty straightforward and explanatory. The only other thing to mention here is that you can actually have um, callbacks here to other methods. So I could have like another function called show me again, and then I could have a callback and call, call another function whenever it's showed. So, but we'll get into that a little bit later. I just want to introduce that concept. And then again, you don't have to have the numbers in here. We could take those out and we show it or hide it instantaneously.